It's well known that we humans have been to space as well as the names of the people who were first on the moon. However, what's not well known by many people is just how many different types of wild animals have been sent into space for space related research. So in today's bit of content, we're going to be sharing with you 10 animals that have been to space and what happened when they were sent to space. Number one, fruit flies. It was 1947 when the first animal was put into space. And surprisingly, it was the fruit fly. American scientists were trying to establish the impact that cosmic radiation might potentially have on astronauts in the future, and they chose flies because they are genetically similar to humans. A V-2 ballistic missile, which was actually recovered from the Nazis at the end of World War II, was loaded with the fruit flies and traveled 109 kilometers, about 60 to 65 miles, into the air which is the distance at which space officially begins, at least according to international standards. And on its descent back to Earth, a capsule containing the flies was parachuted down to New Mexico. On opening the capsule, the scientists found the flies still alive and with no evidence on the effects of radiation. This was the beginning of a long line of astronaut animals and humans to come. Number two, monkeys and apes. Incredibly, 32 monkeys and apes have been to space, including several different species, and the first one was named Albert II. In 1949, he reached 134 kilometers above the Earth, but he sadly died on impact when re-entering the Earth's atmosphere due to a parachute failure. He was also preceded by Albert I, which was sent into space one year earlier, but he suffocated within his cramped capsule before it had even left the ground. Number three, mice. These rodents have long been used to find out more about how space travel will affect the human body. In fact, NASA has recently published a detailed study of mice housed at the International Space Station. It shows that mice quickly adapt to microgravity conditions. The very first mouse went into space in the year 1950, reaching an altitude of 137 kilometers above the Earth's surface. However, unlike the fruit flies, the mouse died when the rocket disintegrated due to a parachute failure. Number four, dogs. A number of dogs have gone into space under the former Soviet Union. The most well-known of these was Laika in 1957. She was picked up off the streets as a stray mongrel puppy in Moscow and was deemed suitable because of her gentle temperament. The scientists also believed that because she was a stray, she would be better at coping with adverse conditions in space. Though other dogs had been launched into space before her, Laika is famous for being the first animal to orbit the Earth. However, she was never to return. She was sent off with just one meal and a seven-day oxygen supply, with no intent to bring her back. The Soviet government claimed that she survived for full seven days, but the sad reality is that Laika overheated and died just five hours into the flight. Number five, tortoises. In the year 1968, the race was on between the USA and the Soviet Union to get a man on the moon. The Russians launched the Zond 5 spaceship with a capsule carrying samples of soil and seeds, some worms, and a couple of tortoises. The tortoises completed a circuit around the moon and after six days returned to Earth. The capsule was retrieved then from the Indian Ocean and thankfully the tortoises were still alive though they had lost their weight by 10%, which is to be expected having no gravity. Number six, frogs. These amphibians have been helping to make one great leap for mankind since 1959. However, the most significant frog flight came in 1970 when NASA launched the orbiting frog Olotith spacecraft containing two bullfrogs. Electrodes were implanted into the frogs' thoraxes and the vestibular system within the ear to record data on the effects of sustained weightlessness. The study found that after six days, the frogs acclimatized and their vestibular system had returned to normal. Number seven, spiders. 
After the success of the first manned mission to the moon in 1969, there was less emphasis on putting animals into space because we realized we could do it safely with humans. However, scientists were still interested in studying the effects of microgravity on the biological functions of various animals. In 1973, two garden spiders called Anita and Arabella were used in an experiment to see if they could still spin webs in space. This experiment was actually the brainchild of a Massachusetts high school student by the name of Judith Miles. Both spiders managed to spin webs, even though the webs were slightly finer than on Earth. The study revealed a great deal about the effects of microgravity on motor response. Number 8. Fish the first aquanauts to reach fish were a type of minnow found in salt marshes, the Mumichug, plus 50 of their eggs. It was 1973 and NASA were keen to observe the effects of microgravity on animals that moved quote-unquote three-dimensionally on Earth. Again, this is because fish can swim up, down, left, right, anywhere, whereas we humans would be more technically two-dimensional because we can move forward, backward, left, right, but we don't normally go up and down unless we have the help of buildings. The human astronauts often suffered from space sickness, and likewise, the fish got very confused and swam in loops rather than straight lines. However, after a few days, both the astronauts and the aquanauts had got their bearings. More recently, in 2012, the Japanese Space Agency decided to send fish up to the International Space Station. Their aquarium had an automatic feeding system, a water circulation system, and LED lights to represent day and night. The fish chosen to go up were midaka, which have transparent skin, making it easier for the researchers to understand what was going on inside of the fish. The purpose of that experiment was to see how fish would respond to radiation impact, bone degradation, and muscle wastage. Number 9. Tardigrades In 2007, tardigrades were the first animals to survive pure outer space. Tardigrades uh, are also referred to as water bears, and they are microscopic invertebrates able to deal with almost anything on Earth. They have been found surviving despite a lack of oxygen, withstanding intense radiation, freezing cold, dehydration. Really, these creatures can just go into some kind of crazy hibernation mode and then wake up after it. So nothing can really kill them, it seems. The tardigrades were dried out before this flight in 2007 and then orbited the Earth outside of a rocket for 10 days. When they were rehydrated on their return to Earth, Scientists discovered that 68% of these little creatures had survived the extreme cold and space radiation, as well as, you know, not having oxygen or anything in space. This study was monumental and quite surprising because it showed that these teeny little creatures could survive in, despite these extremely adverse conditions. And thus, many theories have popped up about how life may have spread between different planets because of these creatures or other microscopic creatures which could survive pure outer space and then if they were stuck on some asteroid or whatever and they landed on another planet thousands of years from now they might be able to reignite themselves and come back to life thus bringing life to a new planet number 10 our final creature is nematodes in 2003, the Columbia Space Shuttle disintegrated when it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, and tragically this killed seven astronauts. There were 80 science experiments aboard this shuttle. Incredibly, when these were recovered from the wreckage, a live group of nematodes was found to have survived the extreme heat. Nematodes are now called roundworms, and they are often used to study the impact of space travel on organisms. So despite the, astro um, the space shuttle having literally disintegrated, these creatures were still able to survive, which was also quite shocking. So that was 10 different creatures which have been to space, as well as the crazy journeys that they have been through, many of them often fatal. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like and comment what you thought in the comment section below, and make sure to subscribe for more updates on our YouTube channel, blog, and podcast. Thank you so much, and we will see you next week. Having trouble with wildlife in your home or office? Wildlife X-Team is your solution to get rid of the raccoons, bats, rats, and snakes. 
Having a professional team, we offer both residential and commercial animal removal methods by using innovative and integrated techniques. Our services include animal trapping, dead animal removal, nuisance wild animal control, and animal capture. What are you waiting for? To get 24-7 service, call us at 855-WILDLIFE for an affordable solution for your nuisance wildlife issues.